Welcome to Daily Steps from One Extraordinary Marriage, where we outline simple steps that you can take to have the ultimate marriage adventure. I'm Tony DeLorenzo, your co-host, along with my beautiful wife, Elisa. In today's show, we answer the question, how long does it take to heal from finding out that your spouse watches porn? Such a loaded question, because when you find out that your spouse is watching porn, you want like, what's going to be the quick fix, right? How, how fast can we get through this? And if you're the one that, that your spouse has discovered that you're watching porn and you've come clean and you're in this place, you're like, I just want to know, give me, you know, is it going to be two months? Is it going to be six months? What am I looking at? Uh-huh. And the reality is, is that healing from the discovery of porn in your marriage is just like healing from any form of broken trust, right? There's no set schedule. And we know because we've walked this out in our own marriage. Yeah. And it's going to take some time and it's just going to be dependent. I really believe it's going to depend on the effort both of you guys make to continue to discuss this Mm -hmm. instead of just sweeping it under the rug. Mm. How much are you willing for the person who's been looking at porn? How much are you willing to come up and tell your wife or your husband and say, I am not, I'm not looking at it anymore. I'm not looking at it anymore. Just being willing to be open and honest and transparent, even when you may be struggling Mm -hmm. and saying, I don't want to go down that path right now. I want to pour into you. Absolutely. And you know, Tony, made a quick mention there, and I don't know if you all caught it, but this is not just a guy's problem. No. There are a lot of gals out there too that are watching porn. And so so this idea of, of healing, it's a process that the two of you are going to go through together and your time schedules aren't going to necessarily link up, right. right? You know, it could take one spouse longer than the other, but the fact of the matter is, is that it is completely dependent on the effort that both of you make. Right, It's not just the person who was watching porn that has to do all of the work to cause the healing in the relationship. Right, It's how the two of you, you know, what are the efforts to forgive one another for the hurt and the pain that's been caused? And there's hurts on both sides. Guys, anytime something's discovered in your marriage, there, there are hurts on both sides. Yeah, this is coming up from a place of a need. And it's not just the person who's look has been looking at porn mm-hmm. who's at fault here. It just isn't. Change behavior. Mm -hmm. That's where I was talking about. You need to let your spouse know that the behavior has been changed. You need to be an open book. If they need access to your phone, your iPad, your computer, and they're asking for your password, give it to them. Mm -hmm. That's how you both are going to heal. If you are still continuing to hold back, well, it's going to take longer for the two of you to heal from this. Transparency and consistency will be your two best friends in the Mm -hmm. healing process, right? How transparent are the two of you willing to be with one another? If you're the one that's been hurt, how transparent are you willing to be with your feelings, right? If you're the one that has inflicted the hurt, how transparent are you willing to be with your actions, right? Are you willing to have controls put on your devices? Are you willing to be accountable, to you know, a, a support group to say, you know what, I'm going to walk through. And I've had coaching clients do this, right? Where they get involved in a, in a program to deal with pornography addiction. When they get involved in a, a program to deal with the feelings that brought them to the place of how did I even get myself into pornography in the first place, mm-hmm. right? And, and it's the understanding that your marriage is going to have a new normal, yeah, right? Ours does. Eight years in, Tony sits me down on the couch and he's like, I got to tell you something. And I had known that pornography was a factor in our marriage, but not the depth. And so our healing process, and that was what, 13 years ago now? Mm-hmm. You know, it was a process. And you've got to give yourselves permission to go through the process that, that it's, a, it's a walk for both of you. It's not a sprint. No, and I, I met a guy this past weekend who has now been clean of pornography for six months. Mm. And I am telling you the new normal. You could see how excited he was. He, you could see the transformation that had happened because God touched him mm-hmm. and where he's walking in his new normal and where he's heading. It was amazing to see that. Absolutely. And it's, it's about giving yourselves permission to grow into the marriage mm-hmm. that the two of you want to create together when you're both are all in. 
For more information on this topic, check out oneextraordinarymarriage.com slash 183.